What's happening, YouTube? Okay, so I am about, I'm not sure how many weeks out, but I do compete August 26th, so you guys to go ahead and do the math on all that stuff. But today we are squatting, so we're supposed to work up to a heavy single, or not heavy single, sorry, we're supposed to do a five by two, and it's supposed to be RP8, so it's gonna be pretty heavy for today's workout. Now, uh, before I start talking about the squatting session, I wanna just say, like, I feel like I am mentally prepared for this meet coming up August 26th. Now, it's not Raw Nationals, but it is a tune-up to kind of see where I'm at before I start prepping for Raw Nationals, which is October, um, I think it's fourth, and, like, this meet is a tune-up. Like, I'm supposed to be focusing on, like, seeing where I'm at, like, uh, how much I progress under the influence of Joey Flex and his training program. So I'm super excited to get into that. So now let's talk about today's squat session. So I've been feeling pretty good when it comes to squats. I feel like, you know, I have... I have never felt this strong when it comes to powerlifting, especially on squat. Like, I feel like I could put anything on the bar and I'm gonna come back up with it. So, the goal is to squat around 670 to 680 pounds come October. And uh, once again, August 26th is the time to see exactly where I'm at. But let's actually transition into the squat workout. Okay, it is the next day after my squat session where I PR with 620 pounds for two reps. Now today it's like it's super rainy here in Sugarland, Texas, aka Houston. It's like supposed to thunder all the way up until Thursday. But anyways, we're chilling here. It's currently like around like 9:30-ish. We have a bench later today, but guess what I'm picking up? I'm picking up the zebras, the the zebra 350 Yeezys, the 350 zebra Yeezys, the the. I don't know what you would say, but I'm picking it up. So, I'm picking it up later today at the Galleria. And uh, yeah, I'll take you guys through that and we're gonna work out. And that's gonna be pretty much the summary of today. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I think that's it. Okay guys, I'm actually running a little bit late, so I'm not gonna be able to stop, or I'm not gonna be able to make breakfast. So, I'm gonna go to the Galleria, and then from the Galleria, I'm gonna go to the gym. All right, I'm gonna have to run inside the car make sure the car's open you guys are about to watch me risk it all to go to the gallery to meet my shoe plug turns out he wasn't even there i mean look at this man it's raining i got my all white yeezys on and i really risked the chance of getting him dirty i also hit my camera I know the last couple of weeks I have been experiencing or I've been titling a lot of my videos like new PR on bench, new PR on squat, new PR on deadlift. And that's because, you know, this program was designed to fatigue me and Joy has been pulling back the volume. So like that's kind of been allowing me to I, I come inside the gym and absolutely smash these weights. So like you guys were seeing me do multiple reps when I'm warming up. I normally don't do this, but it's because this bench session, I felt incredibly strong. Like, I was like, man, this weight is just flying up. Like, 225 felt like nothing in my hands. And as you guys were going to see, 315 felt like nothing as well. I feel like I could have done that for 12 to 15 reps. But anyways, once again, guys, it is because um, Joey was doing a slight peaking for me. And he was pulling back volume. So, of course, I was going to be feeling a lot stronger. Okay, guys, it's time to bench press. So, today's bench pressing session is going to be a little bit different. So, it's supposed to be six sets of two, but the RPE, like the, the reps I'm supposed to be doing, or the weight I'm supposed to be doing, is going to be a little bit different. So, I have an RPE of seven, then three sets of RPE eight, and then two sets of RPE nine. So, it's like I really get to push the boundaries of what I can do for doubles. So, the first weight we're going to be doing for an RPE of seven is going to be 355 pounds. Let's work. Okay guys, now we have 365 pounds for three sets of two at RP8. So uh, let's let's like let's let's do it right now. Like right now. Shh. 
Okay guys, so 365 pounds for two went really nice. So now we bumped up to 380 pounds and it's gonna be another set. Well, it's gonna be two sets of two RP9. And it's also gonna be a PR. I don't think I've ever hit 380 pounds for two set, or two reps before. Hey, all right, let's begin. Alright guys, we smashed the bench, so I had 380 pounds for two sets of two RP9. Smash it. So now we're going to do like kind of like a push workout. I'll show you guys quick clips of this uh, workout that I'm going to do. It's going to be like probably chest and tricep, then I'm going to wrap it up. Or chest and vertical back movements. That'll probably be it. Okay, honestly, I know how I was gonna say, I know I said I was gonna take y'all through a whole workout, but bruh, honestly, I'm good. Like, I did like about six sets of the incline dumbbell bench press, and I did like six sets of the pull ups. I'm finished, man. Like, my, my body is sweating. I'm like, I'm done. I'm gonna do maybe like 20 minutes of cardio, and then head on out, call it a day, and just like relax for the rest of this Saturday, man. I'm finished. As you can see, the Pancake King is back. Look at that perfect flip, boy. Look at this, man. That boys ain't ready for this. Of course, we got the Paper Plate Boys here, and then we got the Walden Farms Pancake Calorie Free Syrup, and I'm watching the Dr. Wesley's Muhammad interview on The Breakfast Club. So this is gonna be... <gasps> Just dropped my phone. We're good. It was, it was cracked before, so we're good. Anyways, um, this is gonna be my second meal of the day. I had a bite meal before uh, when I left the gym. So once again, guys, if I'm going off the top of my head, this is about 60 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, and four grams of fat. So yeah, first meal of the day, pancakes. You, you, you can hear my diamonds talking. It is 1.30 in the morning, and I fell asleep. I was supposed to eat dinner, but I fell asleep. So I had to wake back up and cook some food. And right now we're about to try the new whey protein from BPN, the strawberry shortcake. And all right, here we go. That's good. That's really good. Okay, so right here, we got some turkey burgers. I just put some um, fat-free mozzarella cheese with some strawberry sauce. And we got some wheat. Uh, buns, and then we got sweet potato fries. Ooh, man, I am tired. All right, guys, I'm super tired. So it's like four in the morning right now. So I'm gonna wake up, and then I have brunch with Kennedy for his birthday with Charlie, Alex, and then Kennedy, obviously, at 11 a.m. today. So in the next couple hours, I'll catch you guys then. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here with the homies here at what's the place called? Wait, wait to measure. Wait, wait to measure. All right, so I got the egg white with, with, with toast and potatoes. And it's my boy Kennedy's birthday. Yeah, what's yeah. up? What's up? How old are you turning? 25. 25. What you get, man? Um, the cake donuts. Huh. So and okay, also that's donuts with uh, fried, fried chicken, chicken right? on the inside. Yeah, Sheesh. that shit's gonna be good. And then that one. Uh, that's the brochet, French toast. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, yeah, so we're here with Charlie, Alex, Matt, 
So we're gonna go to the gym, like after we eat all this food. But uh, yeah, I feel like this is the real me. <laughs> like, this is what I want to get. But this is so small. But I gotta calm myself this down. This is so and get small, that. man. Y'all tripping? Damn. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it, y'all. Hey, let me get Instagram story real quick, man. Come on. Come on. Okay, guys. So, I actually was able to keep the breakfast pretty light. So, like, I don't feel, like, full or heavy or anything like that. But um, right now, we're about to go work out with everyone at Alpha Elite. So, we're going to go drive to the gym. We're going to be working out biceps, triceps, and shoulders. So, I will catch you guys at the gym. Okay guys, it's time to start the workout. So once again, like I said earlier, we have shoulders and arms. I got the boys here. Not job boys. Kennedy. What's that? What's good? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> hey, what was that? I don't know, guys. <laughs> you, got Mr. you got Mr. Coco. You got hey, Alex. Oh, I'm just I'm just an other man. man. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. That's I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty angry at Russ, man. <laughs> I also don't do uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay guys, so the workout was supposed to be kind of quick and like light. Once again, on Sundays I do work out, but it's kind of more casual lifting. It's to get like a slight little pump. And uh, yeah, now we're back home. That's gross. So lately I've been getting a lot of requests to do album reviews over the new 2 Chains album and then someone else's album, I forgot. But it's like, guys, honestly, like those albums don't really need much of a review. Like, okay, what I will say about the 2 Chains album really quickly is that it was enjoyable. Nothing like crazy, nothing like sonically ch like life changing or it didn't have like a crazy message or anything like that. It was a uh, it was a solid album. Like he had a couple tracks on there that were dope and that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Like he didn't really push himself musically. He didn't say anything that was like uh, anything that you could take from it. It's just a dope track. That's all I really have to say about 2 Chainz's new album. And then who else's new album? I forgot. Okay, it smells amazing right now. I mean, I already know what it is. My mom texted me. 
that she cooked um, lunch. So we got vegetables, uh, javan rice with like, I guess peppers and onions. And then we have salmon over here. I'm telling you guys, like I'm not over exaggerating when I say that my mom, she cooks like pretty well balanced meals, good carb sources, um, good protein, fats. And uh, like she just, my mom kills it in the kitchen, bro. This looks so good. <clears throat> Bruh, look at this plate and tell me this does not look good. Look at that, man. My fault. Just got angry. Dope, man. Dope. Appreciate that, man. Bruh, check them out, man. I finally got the Zebra Yeezys. Now, these came out, the re-releases uh, were, I think, Friday or Saturday. I think it was Saturday. But, got them. The new Zebra Yeezys, the re-releases. These are so dope. Shout out to the plug, man. Shout out to the plug. Anyways, it is 11.45 at night. This is a good spot to end this video. Now, I know this video has been, like, all over the place, and it's been, like, this week. It's been, like, from Friday, Saturday, and today. So it's been, like, a three-day type of vlog, and it's been all over the place. But it's, like, I don't know. I just, like, some days I just wanted to record the workouts, and then some days I wanted to vlog, and then some days I just wanted to just, like, record the workout again. So I hope you guys were able to enjoy this video. Now, I know I've been kind of updating you guys along with the shirts, but the shirts are going to be ready Monday. So the launch should be probably like Tuesday or Wednesday. You guys will know when the launch is, but like the shirts are basically ready. I just need to go pick them up back in Houston. So once again, guys, I was able to hit two PRs over the weekend on bench and squat. So like, that's a really good sign. Like, <clears throat> I know I said it in a couple of videos back that, you know, this training cycle, I was supposed to start hitting PRs this time around because we're pulling back the fatigue and that's gonna like fatigue is gonna mask the strength that I've gained and so like I've made a lot of strength gains working with Joey for the past couple of weeks now now we're moving forward with like the prep for the meet so I'm gonna be like about eight weeks out this Monday I believe and that means we are going to push and we're gonna push pretty hard and like we're gonna get myself back in a fatigue state so we're gonna up the volume get myself tired then when it's time to compete again we pull back the volume and we're gonna mask we're gonna unveil some of that newfound strength so I'm super excited to do that. Once again, guys, eight weeks out, August 26th is going to be my next tune-up meet in Fort Worth, Texas at the Johnny O. Jackson Classic. So it's going to be super cool, super exciting, and super fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out. The stories I hear, they tend to mirror me. At this point now, rap is only therapy. President Bush, I'm more Eric B.